Hey everybody, this is Maya, and today I'm going to show you how to make these poppin' cooking thingies. Um, I watched some videos online, so I know how to do it. Um, but just to be safe, um, I have um, two of these and one of these. I'm going to do them all in separate videos. Um, I'm just going to, don't do what I do in the first one. Um, this is going to be the first one, and I'll do this one in my second video. Don't do what I do in the first one, do what I do in the second one, because I'm probably going to make a couple mistakes in the first one, because the instructions are in Japanese. Oh, no. Okay, and I ordered these from White Rabbit Express. There's a little sticker, you can see. Um, they don't just do pop and cooking, they do all sorts of things. They do everything, like, lots of stuff from Japan. Um... Okay, so let's open these babies up. I'm gonna do that one first. I am super excited. I don't know if you guys are as well, but this looks, this is actually really small. Um, it's like about two and a half inches, maybe three inches. Um, which is like 15 centimeters. Um, uh, so it's not that big, but it looks big because my hands are small. Um, but just by watching some of the other popping cooking videos, you're going to need, um, a bottle of water, or maybe it's a bowl. I have my most Japanese bowl over here that I could find. It's quite small. It's just a perfect thing for popping cooking. Ooh, it comes in this little... Aw, that's so cute. Okay. Let's see, hopefully I didn't cut off any important instructions. No, I didn't. Okay. So let's get this open and I'll just show you what you have. You'll need like scissors and a bottle of water um, from your house. This little purple, number, purpley bluey number two packet. Um, this bright green number three packet. And this red and silver number one packet. And this tiny little spoon, that is so cute. Okay, you need to break this apart or cut it, whichever is easier for you. I'm weak. I cannot cut, cannot tear plastic. I'm a weakling. Okay, so this is what you're going to put the water in. You hold it there, and there's a little spout so you can pour. My tray's a little bit dented. Just going to pop it out. Pop it. Pop and cooking it out. Um, okay. Okay, step one. You will need packet number one. Get it all down there, right to the bottom. Snip it open. I'm not going to cut it open all the way. Okay, then you pour it into this brown tray. Round, not brown. It's round. That smells, that smells like grape flavored lip balm. That is like exactly what it smells like. Oops, I'm just going to move it so you guys can see. Sorry. It's very, very fine, and I, um, it also tastes very sweet. Um, it's very, very fine. It's kind of like really, really thin sand. Um, and so this is all, in my opinion, I may be wrong, but I think that these are all different kinds of sherbet that you use to do the popping cook in. I might be wrong. Sorry if I am. Okay, then I'm gonna take a scoop of water from my little water bowl. Oops, that sounded like pretty weird. That was my water bottle. Okay. And I'm gonna take a scoop of water and pour it in. I think it's only one scoop. Oh wow, it's purple. That's awesome. Yeah, I think it's one scoop. I can't read Japanese. Um, so, maybe it was two scoops. I'm not doing a very good job on this. Hey. Squishy, squashy, squishy. It's very, it's getting very thick now. This is hard. Make sure you get all those little pieces. It's still quite lumpy. It's like pancake batter. 
thick American pancake batter. Yummy. But blue. Can you guys see? Sorry, I'm working so close to the camera. You guys can't see what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Get off my spoon. Oh, well, I think I'm going to have to eat this now. That is so weird. I can't tell if I like it or not. I think I like it. Okay, then you're going to take small number two packet. Your nice purpley, bluey packet. Cut that open and pour that in here. This one's like sugar. Hmm, puffy. Okay. I was about to mix with my scissors. Oh, wow, that is thick and sticky now. Oh, cool, it's going pink. I think that this one was a soda. No, this one is a grape flavor because everything tastes like grape. This is like what happens when you melt a couple of marshmallows in the microwave. It's so thick. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love how the colors change. It's like when you when you put in the packet and another packet. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. That is so awesome. Oh, I love this. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. That is sour. So what flavor is this? This is grape flavor. I was right. Whoa. <laughs> that's sour. Okay, then packet number three goes in this little smiley M&M guy. He looks like one of those little dudes that come on an M&M packet. M&M. M and M, not M&M. M&M and M&M. &M -M. Oh, little sugar crystals, yummy! This is so cool! sugary pieces that quite big okay then I scoop up some of this and I dip it in here so thick it's awesome this is so super fun okay let's try this oh my god <laughs> this is so weird Oh my gosh, this taste, um, this is really sour, it's kind of grapey, these um, are kind of sweet at the beginning, but then they start losing their flavor, but all in all, this is just so weird, um, I'm going to go ask someone else's opinion on what this tastes like, I will be right back. Okay, I have my little sister here. She is gonna taste this for me. Okay, Iris, you ready? Yeah. She's called Iris. You're gonna have to tell the camera what that tastes like, okay? What does it taste like? The flavor is sour and the flavor. Well, well, it's sour and it tastes like grape. Sour grapes. Mm. And what do these little things taste like? I think it might be the, like the little sour flavors. I think they're quite sweet. Okay, that's my sister's opinion. She is like five years younger than me. <laughs> so, go with my opinion. Bye bye. Off you go. Close the door behind you, please. Okay. Um, this.
this is the weirdest thing ever. But it's so clever. I can't believe people like invented this. It's like you make your own candy. What could be more fun? The candy may not taste that good, but it's still really fun. This is like, um, so weird, so weird. This stuff is like, it's like same texture as cappuccino foam, but it's sour and pink, and it's slightly more um thick. Um, but this is just so weird and so sour. Okay, wow. So this was my popping cooking, um, greasy popping cooking, um, grape flavored. What is this called? I think when I ordered this, it was called something like Nur 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 Nay. Um, what it says a little. I'm just gonna show you guys the packet. It's got a little crazy thing over there. It says crazy just over there. I think. It's supposed to say crazy, but they probably spelt it wrong because they're like Japanese. But that's okay, whatevs. Um, it's it's really cool. Um, man, I still got that sour flavor in my mouth. I'm all shaky now. Um, um, it's grape flavor. There's grape everywhere. The sugar crystals and. It's really cool. It's like foam over there. Can you guys see? It's really foamy and thick. And that's what it's supposed to look like. I don't know how they got like so little crystals like all over. It looks like a lollipop. But um, this was like super fun. I'll show you the back. There's all the steps. Um, I think this was quite an easy one. The shows you what you need to do. You cut or pull that off, and you need a glass of water. And this was just super fun. I don't think that the taste was that great, but the actual experience of doing this was super fun. And there it's got um, different colored thingies, little potions. Can you guys see? Little potions. There's a pink one, and I think that's purple, and that one is blue. And it's all written in Japanese, so I don't know what this is. Um, if any of you guys speak Japanese or can read in Japanese, please, please tell me what all of this stuff means. Because I am really curious and I, I don't read Japanese. Oh, look at this little smiley face. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.